So the other day, I came across the Squad on 42 gameplay video, um, which has happened in this latest uh, Citizen Con, um, but this time by IGN. And I thought to myself, what would the rest of the gaming community view uh, Squad on 42 uh, from the outside looking in? So uh, let's take a look. Okay, so here we, this is the Squad on 42 uh, gameplay trailer. Um, for 2954 so this is the most recent right and um i just decided to just go through and just look at some of these comments uh, a lot of these uh a lot of these comments are related to uh the actors that they've seen in it um but i'm just going to review uh some of the comments that um were essentially about the gameplay itself okay so looking at this one it says first time i've read an igm comment section about star citizen and it's not toxic as, as hell <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see um about henry um this one here says as a star citizen player i'm watching this uh battle going on and man the salvage is going to be unreal <laughs> which is true uh, one person says this looks amazing the first time i felt immersion like this for a long time interesting another one says um how satisfying to see there is still classic good old sci-fi really nice Another one here says, I felt more emotion in this than the whole 100 hours I have in Starfield. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. Another one here says, damn, first time watching gameplay reveal and it's one hour long and it's immersive, story driven, very cinematic. And I can't wait to play this. Really, really interesting. Uh, this looks fantastic. I've always thought the concept of this game was nifty but it was missing a human element this changes that for sure really interesting let's see if we can find one more uh this was the best thing i saw in sci-fi for decades well in fact since battle star galactica in 2003 so it's uh oh one more one more one more interesting one here yo bethesda do you see this that's a space game <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is phenomenal, man. So it, I, I just thought it was interesting to um, really look at some of these comments just to see what the outside world views Star Citizen, just outside of the Star Citizen community. And the reason why I decided to do this is because um, right now in the community, right, in the Star Citizen community, especially those that have been around for a while, um, there is essentially three portions of the community can be a part of right you can be a part of um those that are optimistic about the game those that are that are in the middle and those that are pessimistic about the game right um so i kind of like to put things in perspective here and what i realized about about some of the people in the pessimistic side of things is that Right. And I, I learned this um, as I grew up coming up. Right. If you always look for a fault or if you always look for something negative in this world, you will always find it. <laughs> You'll always find it. Right. And so this means. If you're going into something, right, if you're going to view something like the gameplay reveal, right, with a negative mindset, right what you'll what will happen is you'll only notice the bad things or the bugs or things that wasn't done right and you'll miss everything else and and i i understand right i understand uh in the, in the star citizen community we've dealt with a lot of delays a lot like i'm personally disappointed that star citizen uh squadron 42 isn't going to be releasing anytime soon the 2026 was uh uh, a punch in the gut uh, for me reason being is is because the game just looks so good if the game didn't look too good i wouldn't really care because i wouldn't be looking forward to it but each time i see it it's significantly better and significantly much more improved and significantly blows everything else out of the water in terms of you know first person single player um gameplay experience right so so what I would employ those that are more so on the pessimistic side, always looking for faults, always looking for bugs is 
is this saying that growing up I heard is don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? We have to admit CIG has a phenomenal product here with Squadron 42. They have a phenomenal product, regardless of what we feel about it, regardless of the delays and all that, right? And if 2026 comes around and CIG was ready to release this game and they use this exact gameplay reveal as the advertising piece for Squadron, I honestly think this thing will probably can uh, could outsell um, GTA 5 or any other competing games that are going to be selling around that. I think this is going to be a top seller, 100%. Because the level of immersion, the, the cinematics, um, uh, and even like when people find out when they delve more into the game, when they find out that those ships that they see in, in seeing those in these, uh, in, 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 let me show you guys though, these ships, right? These, these ships, let me scroll all the way up here. Let me, let me get to somewhere. All right. So these ships that we see here, they're actual working vessels, right? They have. They have engines that need to work that needs power from um uh power generators they have actual shields that are physicalized in the ship that um will be affected if they were hit directly they have um weapons that are actually um take damage and uh are in can take individual damage they have um, other components, coolers that need to keep the entire ship cool or the ship will stop working. They have and they have fully realized interiors where you can actually walk around from end to end in these ships and they're built in a way where it's it's cohesive and it works as an actual uh, ship from 2950 or or whatever year this combat happened i believe it was a little bit earlier than that i think right so you know for, for somebody that's from the outside that doesn't know anything about squadron 42 and then they see this in 2026 they're going to be blown away with, with just this the visuals of this but once they play and they realize man this thing i can fully walk around in this entire ship i can you know these turrets take individual damage that's insane how did they manage to do this and word of mouth people people will play it review it and share it and it will get more sales like we just have to admit that cig has a phenomenal product yes there's delays there's it's still buggy a little bit and um you know they still need to work on it but the money that they've spent in developing this game, I don't think is a waste. I think it's it's a it's going to be a top seller. And we have to admit that they have a phenomenal product. Yeah, so you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.